What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the issue when your mobile data or cellular connection is not working or if it's very slow on your iPhone. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. First, make sure that cellular data is enabled in your settings. Tap on mobile data and from here, you can enable mobile data for your primary SIM card or for your eSIM. Also, make sure to disable your personal hotspot option for now. This will ensure that no device connected to your hotspot is causing the mobile data problem. Next, make sure that you are in an area with cellular network coverage. You can test this by using a network speed testing site or application, such as Speedtest. Here, Select to start the test and you can then preview your current average download and upload speed with your mobile data connection. In case you are unable to connect to a server using your mobile data connection, then the problem can be caused by your current location, your ISP or your network settings. Open up your iPhone settings. Here, make sure that your VPN service is not connected. A VPN can be very useful but it should be turned off while troubleshooting your mobile data connection. Next, scroll down and tap on General. In your General settings, tap on Software Update. Select to download and install the latest update. This will require you to restart your device, which will restart all processes running on your iPhone and can help fix the mobile data not working problem you are facing. In case the problem persists, then proceed to take out your SIM card and put it back in to see if this fixes the issue. Lastly, in case nothing helps you out, then you will have to reset your network settings, as some previous changes to your settings most likely caused the mobile data problem. In your iPhone settings, tap on General and here scroll down to access Transfer or Reset iPhone. Next. Tap on Reset and then Reset Network Settings. Your iPhone will take a few seconds to restart and your network settings will then all be reset to their factory values. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.